So what do Buckeye State voters want to hear? Dennis Kucinich served 16 years as a Democratic congressman in Ohio, former Fox News contributor, now running for governor. He joins us now live to weigh in. Good morning. To, uh, good to see you, Congressman. Uh, good morning, Ed. Good to be with you. Tell me what you think the voters of Ohio want to hear, because on one hand, uh, we just mentioned the unemployment rate in your state coming down. That started under President Obama. It's continued under President Trump. Uh, we've seen the markets uh, taking off, and we've seen a tax cut go through that seems to really be juicing this economy. As one of the leaders in your party, Nancy Pelosi, says, it's just crumbs. Well, l let me uh, be quite specific. President's coming to Cincinnati uh, the people in Cincinnati, Hamilton County have real concerns, and here they are. There's a Western Hills viaduct that's going to cost about $360 million to repair, 50,000 cars a day. They want some action on that. The federal government needs to help. The Brent Spence uh, Bridge that connects Ohio and Kentucky, mm -hmm. it's a $2.5 billion project, 160,000 cars a day. Uh, we need help on infrastructure in Ohio. Those yeah. projects are critical. And you know what? People don't want any privatization. They don't want any tolls. And finally, Ed, sewer bills have gone up in Hamilton County about 400% in the last 10 years. And the, the, the areas under mandates, the federal government has to help rebuild sewer systems without socking it, uh, seeing local uh, sure. uh, ratepayers. Well, with all due sock, respect, I'm not sure the president can do much about sewer bills, but he can do something about can. the roads and bridges. Well, let me, let me, I'll let you speak, but uh, in all seriousness, um, the president in the State of the Union talked about infrastructure. He wants to get a deal done. But your colleagues on the Democratic side don't want don't seem to want to work with them, whether it's DACA, uh, whether it's infrastructure. Democrats don't want to work with them. Here you are in your state saying, let's come together. What's what's the disconnect here, sir? Well, uh, first of all, you have to be aware that there are massive infrastructure needs over three trillion dollars mm -hmm. nationally. But in Ohio specifically, the president's going to be in Cincinnati. He can address these issues. Sewer, sewer systems need to be rebuilt. There's a federal mandate out there that counties and cities can't meet. The federal government has to weigh in. Now, parties have to work together. It's absolutely true. Are there political differences? You bet there are. But when we work together, we have to draw the line. No privatization, no tolls. Uh -huh. We need to rebuild the infrastructure. The president said he would do that in, in his inaugural speech. I think that this is the time people are expecting him to deliver. You're listening to the voters. Are they talking about the Russia investigation or would they rather talk about the economy? Well, yeah, there are some people concerned about that, but I think most people want to see more jobs. They want to see the infrastructure rebuilt. They want to yeah. see their, they don't want to have to worry when they go across a bridge, whether there's going to be any uh, structural problems with the bridge. Uh, we have to rebuild America, rebuild Ohio. That's what I think people in Ohio want. And I'm certainly uh, in tune with them on that. Congressman, the big question. Super Bowl prediction? Hmm. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I would think uh, the Eagles uh, probably look like they have an advantage. Right. I like the... I like the Patriots, but I have to tell you, I think the Eagles are going to take it. All right. One thing we know for sure, the Browns aren't there. You're the former mayor of Cleveland. Hopefully you'll have better <laughs> luck in the governor's race. It's good to see you as always, sir. Oh, thanks. All okay. right. <laughs> All right. Good to see you.